Howdy folks, I'm an artistic, antsy, anti-social aardvark attacking apples. I'm Amber. And here are more aardvarks attacking apples. Or Reddit. It's probably Reddit, but maybe it's apple flavored. I don't know how you'd test... Well, I mean, that... Well, I think the way you would test it is if you held your tongue and said apple. Let's get started. All right, folks, our first letter is titled, Am I the Apple? for announcing my pregnancy at my older sister's birthday lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You like it? <laughs> I'm a 25-year-old female, and I have an older sister who's a 30-year-old. We have never gotten along growing up, and I considered her my first bully. Growing up, she always commented on my weight and how I looked. Because of the constant bullying, I spent most of my time with my dad and stepmother who gladly took me in. Since I was still young, I was basically forced to visit my mom and dreaded the weekends that I had to visit. My mother was never the problem, but she would let my sister get away with doing the most horrible things to me. When I turned 14, I was finally able to live with my dad and stepmom full time, but I did keep in contact with my mom. I didn't start visiting her home until I was 18. Anyways, my mother decided to set up a birthday dinner for my older sister. She invited both me and my husband, so we decided that we would go because I hadn't seen my mother since 2021, and I did miss her. Anyways, everything was going well, the food was amazing, and I got to see family that I haven't seen in years. Well, it was amazing until everyone was eating. I had finished my food and I was still hungry, so I asked my mother if it was okay if I got more since everyone had gotten their first helping. Some were getting seconds already. My mother said, of course, help myself. So I got up and I started making myself a plate. It was going okay until my older sister said loudly, shouldn't you stop eating so much? You look like you're gaining so much weight. I'm literally three months pregnant. I only have a tiny belly and most people think I'm just bloated. I looked around and everyone was looking at me, so I said, thanks for your concern, but I'm actually eating for two right now. Immediately, everyone started getting up and congratulating my husband and me while my sister just looked dumb sitting there. Every conversation was about my pregnancy and nobody seemed interested in my sister. Soon after me and my husband left and we immediately got a text from my sister saying that I was a jerk and that I intentionally tried to ruin her day. I don't feel bad, but regardless of how I feel, am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Now, normally it is not the time to announce a big life event like a pregnancy at someone else's event but your sister had it coming like yeah. she was trying to shame you for your body in front of everyone of course you just told her the truth that you're eating for two and not that it should matter no one should say those kind of rude things you should be able to have any kind of body and it shouldn't be uh, up for debate and it's kind of unfortunate that the rest of the family just sat there silently instead of immediately jumping on your sister and being like how dare you say that yeah well it also could have just been one of those situations where they were dumbstruck and didn't know what to say in that instance and it because it was such a rude thing to say that they might have been like did we just hear that right it's possible but i can't get the vibe from the rest of the letter that the sister has been getting away with this nastiness mm -hmm. for so long and no one challenges her on it yeah and it could just be that too and I'm also going to say that she had it coming. She only had herself to blame. And if you had been there, <laughs> if you had seen it, you would have done the same. So, I mean, really, I think we're all in agreement here that that's really what's going on. Yes, some very wise words from a, a great musical. Yes, musical Brian. No. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Celestially Certain says, not the jerk. I actually think this is pretty funny. That's what you call karma. It was instant karma. And Lieutenant Colonel Shiny Side says, I love how the sister says OP did it all intentionally. OP and her husband planned the conception <laughs> of their first child so that she would be showing just enough just in time to ruin the birthday. <laughs> well done. Good timing, OP. She did it very well. And Gusa Lan Reject says, and obviously OP tried to look extra pregnant and got seconds on purpose so that the poor sister just had to comment on it. 
And Tan Sandoval says, not the jerk. Yes, it's normally the rule of thumb that you should not make announcements at events to honor someone else. But your sister should not have made that comment about your body. And in commenting on your body, she made your answer slash announcement appropriate in context. You look like you might have gained weight. That's what happens when you're pregnant. It's not malicious announcement where you're trying to steal her thunder. It's a valid response to what your sister said about the changes in your body. She didn't need to make that comment. She chose to. And it blew up in her face. Sometimes it's bad to be bad. All right, folks, our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for choosing to take my boss to a charity event over my fiance? I'm a 25-year-old male, and I started working at my company about a year ago. My boss, a 48-year-old male, and I really hit it off. So much so that he frequently visits and sleeps on the couch in our basement. My fiance, a 23 year old female, and I have lived together for several years now and just recently built a house together. So it has plenty of space and she doesn't mind him staying in the basement, but they don't interact much. Months ago, I purchased tickets for a local charity event that I had taken my fiance to last year. I did not indicate that I would take her this year, but she assumed that the second ticket was for her. Last evening, we had a difficult code deployment that my boss and I were up quite late for. After its success, we had a nightcap and I mentioned the charity event this weekend and he mentioned that he had always wanted to go. So I invited him under my second ticket. He was elated and I thought that this would be good for my career progression as charity is cornerstone of the company that we work for. I told my fiance this morning that my boss had never been to the event and was excited to go. She said that we would all have a great time like last year. It was so much fun. I then told her that there were only two tickets and that she wasn't going to be going. Needless to say, she was mad. Tickets are already sold out and I can't buy another. I told her that she needs to be considerate of my career progression and that I can always take her again next year. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yes, you're the jerk. Like, this is such a really weird situation with your boss. But, like, I don't think it's out of the blue to assume that if your partner gets two tickets and has taken you to an event last year, that they're taking you again this year. I think that's kind of generally understood so i don't i think it's very strange that op is like well she i never promised her the ticket yeah and on top of that like isn't your boss making more money than you op if they've always wanted to go why didn't they purchase a ticket of their own it sounds like yeah. the boss is mooching off of op yeah i mean i'm a little worried about the relationship between OP and their boss and I don't mean like romantically or anything like that I just mean like there seems to be some boundaries here mm -hmm. that he's willing to cross and he's willing to OP is doing everything he can to progress in his career yeah it sounds like OP is like sucking up to the boss big time you can crash at my house we're I'll working work late until midnight, midnight one yeah two o'clock and then we'll have drinks afterwards yeah like there's no work-life balance here and there's no priority to op's personal life like his fiance should have a place in that it yeah. should she shouldn't be just a cast aside second thought yeah i mean i think it's certainly reasonable to say that your fiance isn't going to be able to go to every single event with you but I do think that there also needs to be more communication in this relationship. It seems like you're not prioritizing your fiance, you're prioritizing your boss. So you need to ask yourself, who are you in a relationship with? <laughs> are you in a relationship with your boss or are you in a relationship with your fiance? And, you know, I mean, that's, of course, flippant. But the thing is that you really need to pay attention to your fiance's needs and you need to keep her in the loop and the polite thing would have been to ask her ahead of time since the expectation was clearly that she thought she was going to be going and she had said that she had such a great time last year so probably the assumption was that she was going again this year yeah and it seems like op is willing to drop anything change anything to accommodate his boss and that's not a healthy like way to live your life like family should come above work mm -hmm. and you should not be going out of your way to finance your boss's 
and events and stuff like that like again i'm assuming you work at a place where your boss makes more money than you because that's usually how these hierarchical structures work mm -hmm. and so why are you paying for their tickets why are they crashing at your place and using your resources well it sounds like the crashing at op's place is because they probably work late a lot and so i think that's the reason why but i don't think that that's a healthy relationship with his work so that's my thoughts Anyhow, take care and good luck. And Mike Tax says, Thanks OP for answering questions. I know it's hard to be getting a lot of hate at once. Sounds like you're seeing the error of your ways. Best of luck in your situation. And OP replies, That's kind of you. Yes, it's scary to be getting so much hate. I didn't realize how weird the situation was because this is my first job. So again, like I just feel like OP is really a gung-ho and trying to get advancement and stuff like that and doesn't understand how bad this looks. And Mig says, Info, do you have a romantic or other relationship with your boss? Because you're acting like you do. And OP replies, Absolutely not. I'm only concerned about my career. And Flying Knives for Love says, well, that's not what it looks like. If I was your coworker, I would 100% assume that you two were in some kind of relationship. And OP replies, that would be weird as he stays at most people's houses since he lives far away and some give him equivalent gifts. He stays at my house a little more because we get along well and my guest accommodations are better than most. Most people don't have full finished basements with a bar for him to stay. Okay, this definitely sounds like a boss issue. Like, this boss is exploiting and manipulating people. My guess is this is a small startup, and the boss is using that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no real oversight, so he can do what he wants. Yeah, and Nicole XXX says, so he's also drinking your alcohol while staying at your house. Is he at least reimbursing you for your trouble? He's your superior at work, not your friend. And OP replies, he does get into it some when he's down here. But I don't think too much. We have a full liquor shelf with lots of bourbon. So honestly, it would take a while to realize if he's drinking a lot. All right, folks. Our next letter isn't really a letter. It's more or less just an announcement. The title is, Am I the Jerk for Blocking Your Go-To Time Killer from June 12th to 14th? So basically, there's some drama, if you will, in the Reddit world. And it's a lot of boring stuff, but... It won't impact me. <laughs> so basically, Am I the Jerk is going to be down between the 12th and the 14th. That's fine. I have a backlog of stories. Everything is going to be just fine for that time frame. So we won't be missing out on that. But this is a good time to mention to folks that I am always taking story submissions. And so you're welcome to submit stories to me. I'm uh, always a fan of reading people's life problems and helping give some advice so it doesn't have to be am i the jerk type of scenarios but i just wanted to make sure that people know that you are welcome to send stories my way and i will discuss them with you i'll give some advice i have an email address and i also have my instagram so my inbox is always open all right folks it is tea time grab your beverages of choice i've got some tea right here and amber She's got a Sunday morning joke. What do you call a pod of musical whales? What do you call a pod of musical whales? Is this like an iPod or something like that? That would be a weird joke to have. A whale iPod? <laughs> you know, I know what I call a musical pod of whales. I call them a... Uh, boom box i don't know that that doesn't actually make any sense because that kind of implies that the whales are exploding and that's horrific that's that's terrifying i don't want to have that imagery what do, what do we call what do we call whales that are a pod of musicals an orchestra oh that's that's not bad that's a pretty good joke i like that i like that and i have licorice spice all right folks that's all the time we have for today thank you so much for watching on this special sunday morning and of course you know what makes it special you do and amber we need some kind of moral guidance and advice and please make it a terrible catchphrase of a boss <laughs> yo yo employee your booze your house they're mine now <laughs> That would be a terrible catchphrase for a boss. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.